Hello viewers, how are you doing well? Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will see how can we get the customer by ID. So let's get started. Here I'm going to create a method. You can see here the return type is customer and here is the name of the method that is get customer by ID and in the argument we are getting an ID from the URL that is a data type long and here you can see the annotation that is at the rate get mapping to access this API and here is the URL of this API that is slash customer slash ID we got an actual value from the URL okay let's go to our customer service and here I'm going to create a method Here you can see the method that is public return type customer and here is the name of the method and in the argument it will receive a id of the customer we need to return here customer repository dot find by id method that is used to get the record from the backend with the id i have passed here the id in case if a record is not found then we need to return a null okay so here we need to call a method from our customer service that is get customer by id and here we need to pass id let's save the response of this method into this object that is and here in the statement we need to check that is in case if customer is equal is equal to null then we need to return here response entity dot not found dot build in case if customer is not equals to null then we need to return here status okay and in the argument we need to pass here the object of our customer so let's run the application and test this api from angular before this we will test this api from postman you can see application started on port 8080 let's go to our postman add here the path of our api that is slash api slash customer slash id and the mapping is get to we'll send a button so you can see here i have put it the id one that is 404 not found error because we don't have any record with the id one so let's put here id two and you can see we got a response from our backend name customer one email and the phone so let me put here id three and you can see we got a response with the status two double zero okay so let me enter again id one and you can see the status we got four zero four not found okay so let's go to our angular site so you can see update customer component so let me register here the update component in our app routing module.ts so here we need to add the path of our update component that is slash customer slash colon id we will get an id from the url so that's why i have passed here the variable name of the id so the url is this then we need to load update customer component okay so let me add here slash customer slash one and you can see update customer component works so let's load this component on the click of the button let me add the button into our post customer component let me add the button into our get all customers component dot html let me uncomment this so let me put here the url of our specific component for the your component url is slash customer slash customer dot id so let me open here the css and let me comment uncomment this properties and this one and you can see the update button let me click on this button and you can see it navigating us to update customer component and you can see the id so let me click on this update button and you can see it's navigating navigating us to update customer component and here's the id okay so we need to get the id from the url and let's call the api from the backend 
So before this, let me create here the method into our customer service. So let me copy the method and add here. And name of the method is get customer by ID. And in the argument, it will receive an ID that is a number type. So here we need to add the URL. So the URL is slash API slash customer slash ID. So let me add here the ID variable name that we need to concatenate with the string. So that's why I've added here and here you can see the mapping is get. So let's call this method from our TS. So before this, we need to get the ID from the URL. Let me inject here activated route and we also need to inject here service that is customer service okay so let's get an id from the url so we need to call here this dot activated route dot snapshot dot params and here we need to pass the url name that we have declared in our app routing module dot ts so let me copy the name exactly and we need to add in our update customer component dot ts let me add here so let me add here the ng oriented lifecycle loop to call the method so here i'm going to create a method that is get customer by id in the argument it will receive an id that is a type of number and here we need to call this dot service dot get customer by id and here we need to pass the id and then we need to subscribe this to get the result let's save this result into the this variable and let me add here the console.log statement to print the result into our response. So in, to import this method, we need to add here this dot get customer by ID. Let me remove this. And here we will call with this dot ID. So let's go to our UI and let me open here the inspect and refresh the component. And you can see we got a response from our backend with the details, email ID, name, font. So let's me let me open again the get all customer component and let's click on this update button. And you can see the record we got from the backend. So let's print this record into our form. So you can see update customer form. I have initialized this variable with the form group. And after that, I have injected here form builder. And you can see I have called this variable that is update customer form and here this dot fb dot group and here i have declared the properties that we got from the form name phone email so let's bind this with this property that is form group and here we need to change the name of the form is update customer let me remove this and let's change the name of the button is update and you can see the form is created into our ui so let's patch the details into this form so we just need to call here this dot update form dot patch value and here we just need to pass a variable that is a res to patch the values of the customer and you can see the value is patched successfully. So
let me go again to so get all customer component and I'm clicking on this update button and you can see. So that's all for now. In the next video, we will see how can we update the record and uh, also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.